welcome Dr. Ayani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you have seen the thumbnail. Yes. Today's video is all about PCOS that is your polycystic ovarian syndrome and what it does to your hair and skin in particular. Before jumping into the topic, let me just show you an image. This is the picture of ovaries that are situated on either side of the uterus that helps to store your eggs and to produce hormones that maintain your menstrual cycle and pregnancy. Okay, coming to the topic proper. What is PCOS? It's a hormonal disorder that causes your ovaries to enlarge by forming numerous cysts around the ovary. It's mostly seen in young women and teen people. Earlier, it was called as PCOD, that's your polycystic ovarian disease. Later, people have realized that it's actually not a disease, it's a bunch of signs and symptoms together, so we call them as a syndrome. Moving on to the symptoms, let me just tell you some simple things by how to recognize your PCOS from your skin and hair itself. Okay, you will start to see dark patchy pigmentation on your forehead, your cheeks, particularly in your neck area. And then people will start to experience more facial hair. That is your male pattern hair growth in your face. And the next common symptom is your hair loss. You will literally see your hair shedding and thinning out. Another super important symptom is your acne. Here, the PCOS acne are far more different from your actual acne vulgaris. That's your pimples you get. Let me tell you why. These acnes are large, fluid filled or pus filled acnes that are painful. And you can see this acne particularly on your jawline, chin, chest, shoulder and your back. And the next important symptom is your weight gain. You are leading your normal regular lifestyle but now you start to wonder why i'm not losing weight instead i'm gaining weight as most of you people know pcos will cause infertility and irregular periods yes irregular period is the most common symptom of pcos but it's not a must symptom most of you people will ignore pcos if you are having regular periods guys please note that irregular periods is not the only symptom of your pcos they could be completely normal but you still have PCOS. Diving into the management. One thing you have to make it clear that the whole cause of PCOS is not yet known. But the prime cause of PCOS is your lifestyle changes. Before 10 years PCOS is such a rare thing. But now you can see most of the people are suffering from PCOS. This is due to your poor eating habits and sedentary lifestyle. Let me just tell you what are the foods to avoid. Avoid sugary foods like your sugar, your sugar supplements like your jaggery, honey, your junks like your chocolates, biscuits and oily foods. I know it's pretty difficult. Opt for natural sugars like your uh, fruits but eat your fruit, don't drink it. Go for walking at least 30 minutes to 1 hour every day and do your cardio. Start having your regular exercise schedule. I swear you will see a lot of changes. Quickly coming to your hair care and skin care. In skin care, as I said before, your uh, patches and acne are the two major concerns. Wash your face regularly at least two to three times a day uh, with uh, mild hypoallergenic cleansers. For your acne blemishes, you can apply the skin lightening ingredients. At your doctor's clinic, you have to start off with a peel, lasers that basically sets your inflammation and infections down. And the rest is taken care with your tablets you take internally, which is going to rebalance your hormones. And for your facial hair reduction, when you start to correct your hormones, the growth will start to reduce. And then you can opt for laser hair reduction. For your hair care, wash your hair regularly, use mild shampoo, keep your scalp and hair clean. Ultimately, the food you take is going to nourish your hair from within. The foods that are going to help in your PCOS are your green leafy vegetables, your fruits, avocados, olive oil, your berries, and uh, lentils, beans, fish. Try to avoid uh, red meats and uh, broiler chickens. Okay, that's the wrap. Finally, I have to tell you something. The treatment of PCOS is not just given by your doctor. You play a major role in the treatment by your lifestyle modifications. So do exercise regularly and eat proper food. If you have any of the symptoms, please consult your gynecologist or your endocrinologist and get it checked as soon as possible. Okay, hope this video will be useful to you. If you have any doubts or queries, please ask it out in the comment section. Thank you.